Hello and welcome to the IT Career Guide YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Google IT Support Professional Certification course available at Coursera. Um, Google offers this course and uh, Coursera is a learning platform where you can uh, go through the different chapters of this course and um, you can get a shareable certificate. It's uh, giving you a flexible schedule in, in general for your learning. And in today's video, I want to go into more detail about uh, what does this course actually offer. In a previous video, I already talked about the Google IT Support Professional Certification and simply what benefits does it have. Um, this video here is more about the actual course and um, what do you need to do to go through this course, learn it and get your certificate in the end. So first of all, Coursera is a learning platform and um, it uh, offers unlimited access to over 3000 courses. Um, it has an annual fee of $399 or you can switch to a monthly fee of $49 and it includes then still access to all these courses. So you have a little bit of time pressure if you want to just go for a month and get um, Google IT support um, certified. So, but uh, here on the screen, I currently have the uh, login page uh, for the course. Actually, you can see here, I can enroll for free. Um, it starts November 7th, which is today, uh, the day I'm recording this. It shows 465,916 people already have enrolled into this course. That doesn't mean that they all have um, completed the course or that they have um, the certification. It's just how many people enrolled um, for this course. So let's take a look at what we get here. So first of all, you will learn about the skills required to succeed in an entry-level IT capacity. So this is an entry-level IT certification for when you want to start in a help desk type of capacity, uh, tech support, be it on the phone or in person. So think about it, a level one or tier one, maybe a little bit of level two, tier two. You will learn to perform day-to-day -day IT tasks and um, that's really the base support. So be it assembling computer, uh, troubleshooting wireless networking, installing programs, and of course, customer service. If you look at IT help desk, um, while there is a lot of technical work that needs to be done, um, customer service is really an important part and it's becoming more and more important. Automation and more sophisticated tools will take away some of the technical work that you have to do. Becoming a service provider and often help desk is called service desk. Um, that gives you the focus and the idea that customer service plays a major role. Your customers, your end users, uh, you're providing a service to them. And uh, that's really important um, that you focus on your customers and deliver outstanding service. So then here you can learn about systems including Linux, domain name systems, command line interface and binary code. Uh, well, this course is coming from Google, and um, this is uh, really, I want to say, the foundation probably of the, the Google infrastructure on the back end. But uh, of course, this is not just limited to using this at Google. Um, uh, you will have um, great skills after passing this course and learning everything uh, to go into other companies. Um, in a different video, I will talk about the benefits of combining this certification with the A plus certification. Um, simply to have really a, a, a great foundation, um, but also making yourself valuable to future employers. So then here in this course, we also will learn about how to provide end-to-end -end customer support. It's not just that you need to know the technical side or that you can talk to a customer, but troubleshooting and walking a customer, be it remotely or in person, walking that customer through a problem is a skill a skill that you need to learn if you want to be successful in this type of business. So down here, um, it's a, a small, like a tagline, um, the skills that you will learn. So you will learn about debugging and that has to do with coding. Uh, you will learn about encryption, um, specifically algorithms and techniques. Um, you will learn about customer service, networking protocols. So that's very important. Whenever you connect to a network, you're connecting to the internet, um, there are certain network protocols in use and you will need to learn how to troubleshoot those and um, how to see really um, why are certain things not working. Um, you will learn about um, how to configure wireless networking. And again, um, it's not just plugging in a router that you just bought at Best Buy. 
and uh, everything should be okay. There's also the um, information security side of things. It's critical that you protect your wireless network. Um, otherwise, somebody could do, could do um, uh, hacking into your network easily and um, obtain critical data, uh, data either from your systems or as you transmit data um, into um, websites on the internet. Then you will learn about the domain name system slash DNS. So uh, DNS is really, um, if you look at it from an old school phone book where you have a name and a phone number um, that are associated with each other, here you have domain names like google.com, coursera.org, um, those are the names, and when you access those on the internet, what happens underneath the hood is really that that name gets converted to a number, and um, that number then uh, pretty much is what communicates, uh, what you communicate to. So your computer has a number, um, the uh, target website has a number associated, and that will help um, all the technology, the networking, uh, to connect the two, so that your request um, to Google or to Coursera or whatever other other website uh, will be routed appropriately. Um, specifically, they list um, IP version 4 here. Um, IP version 4 is the IP address system, so that is the numbering system in a very simplified way um, underneath the domain name system that connects a name to a number and then allows um, the routing on the network. So IP version 4 is an older system. Uh, you might have heard or you will hear about IP version 6. And the reason is that IP version 4 has a limited number of IP addresses available. And um, while we're hitting the limits with that, there are so many domain names, there are so many end user devices, um, including uh, IoT, Internet of Things type of devices, that there are not enough IP addresses anymore under the model IP version 4. So IP version 6 is something that you will have to pick up on in the future, and um, it's very critical. So what else will you get here with the Coursera course? So there's the shareable certificate. You can earn it up on completion of the course. Um, these courses are 100% online, so there's nothing you need to do, especially now during the pandemic. Um, you don't have to go anywhere. You can start learning whenever it pleases you. If it's at 1 o'clock in the morning or at 11 o'clock at night or anything in between, um, you can learn and study at your own schedule. Um, that also gives you the flexibility. So if you have a full-time job and you work all day, um, you can study in the morning before you go to work. You can study in the evening um, after work. Uh, again, the course is beginner level. Um, I still recommend it even if you're already a, a year into this field. I think the certification itself carries significant value. Uh, the course is um, mostly held in English, but it becomes available with subtitles, English, Spanish, Portuguese, the Brazilian version, Arabic, French, Russian. Um, everyone else is left out. Um, so English is most likely the, um, the top language that you should understand for this course. So regarding the uh, professional certificate, um, it's a five course certificate program. So meaning like there's five different chapters and uh, you will have to complete all five of those to earn your certification. So you can read here again, it's for an entry level job in IT uh, support. Um, it's an innovative curriculum that Google developed and um, 80% of the Google IT support professionals that earn the certificate uh, really report that their career has improved um, within six months after passing this course and uh, getting certified. So um, if you look at it, um, this is a newer certification and it might not be well known in all areas and all industries. However, it's an upcoming certification. And um, that also means that the skill set that you learn here is really up to date. It's not outdated. I'm not saying that other certifications like A plus are outdated. Um, but here you're really getting prepared for 2020, 2021 and beyond and really um, you build a solid foundation. So there is value in that certification and well if 80% of those individuals that are certified report this, um, I'm sure there is some merit to this. So um, learners um, eligible to work in the United States uh, can share this information with Google when they um, pass this course, when they earn the certification. So um, I've seen reports where Google actually is actively hiring people that pass this course that earns the certification, including here listed uh, Hulu, Infosys, Intel, Walmart, and others. 
Um, so the, the um, certificate carries value, so please treat it appropriately. I highly recommend it. Um, in addition, you can see here that this course prepares you for the CompTIA a plus exams. There is a total of two exams that you need to pass uh, to be, be to become CompTIA A plus certified. Together with the Google IT Support Professional Certification, um, you will have the best foundation really to get into IT in a help desk or in a junior system administrator position. So this was part one of the uh, two-part series about the Google IT Support Professional Certification course at Coursera. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.